Hi, this is Mary from Open Helix with this week's Tip of the Week. If you're seeing this tip someplace else, be sure to swing back by our blog at blog.openhelix.com for additional details. I'll provide links to the resources I'm talking about today, links to publications, and so on. So check us out at blog.openhelix.com. Now for today's Tip of the Week, I'm going to cover something that's a little bit different. Usually we're talking about some resource, some new paper that came out, some new tool, but there are times when we realize that people need some guidance on some of the existing tools, for example. Recently I saw that a lot of people were coming to our blog with searches for restriction enzymes in the UCSC Genome Browser. So I realized that that's something that people need some guidance with, so I've decided to highlight that as this week's Tip of the Week. Now if you want more training on the UCSC Genome Browser, we've got complete training available, and you can go to our site and you can access the full training. But today I just want to show you one specific track to give you a little bit of information about that that you might not realize. I'm going to go to the UCSC Genome Browser. I'm going to access the Genome Browser Gateway. Here we are on the Gateway. I'm going to just do a quick search for Genomic Region, TP53, because it's a nice short uh, query. I will click Submit, and I will go to that region in the Genome Browser. So here we are. Here's the gene TP53. We can see we're in the right region. And there's a lot of information here that's available by default. But there's additional information that might be available in the tracks that are turned off, and one of those tracks is restriction enzymes. So it's hidden by default when you first arrive, but all you have to do is choose to display this with one of the display options here. I'll choose pack. When I don't know what the display is going to look like, I'll usually choose pack as a nice efficient strategy. So I'll click pack and click one of the refresh buttons. Doesn't matter any of the refresh buttons here. And this will load the restriction enzymes in this region. Here we go, we're starting to see those. We'll load the restriction enzymes in this region all the way down this browser section. Now we've got a lot more information right here. It actually might be too much information. Might be hard to look around. Now you've got a couple of options here. You could zoom in. We're in kind of a good stretch of the browser here. This is a long, long stretch of the, the browser. If you wanted to zoom in, you could focus on certain regions, of course. Another thing that you could to choose to do at this point, though, is you could filter. So let's go back. This hyperlink, again, is key to accessing more details about the restriction enzyme track and also possibly filters. If there's a filter associated with this track, you can find it from that hyperlinked area. Let me point out a couple of things here on the restriction enzyme track settings details page. You'll learn more on this page. The description area will tell you more about what's going on in this track. Another thing that's important is they'll give you keys to the display. One of the things that I mentioned is we saw we were in a certain sized region of this and we could see a lot of information. There might be times where you're in too large a region and you won't see any of these. You might have to zoom in a little bit more and you'll see if you zoom in at different levels you'll get different subsets of the enzyme sets displayed. So keep that in mind as you're looking around. Now this data comes from Rebase. And you can actually access Rebase separately if you want to go to this site as well, so that you get information on these detailed pages about what's available here. But as I said, one of the things we might want to do is just filter this. And let's say I just wanted to look at where the Hindi 3 cutting might be. Here I'm just going to enter the enzyme that I'm interested in. You could enter more than one, though, if you separate them with commas, as you can see here. All I want to do is look at those instead of all that, that huge list that we had before. So let me click Submit. And back on our browser viewer, in the enzyme area here, the restriction enzymes, you see that there's just the Hindi 3s on display right now. And so that's handy, and that might give me all the information I need about what's going on in this region. But another thing I could do is, at this point is I could click on this Hindi 3, or any of the Hindi 3s, and get more details about its specific position and so on. Again, more details about this. Another feature that you might want to use, though, is you could download all of the enzymes in this browser range all of the enzymes or just the ones that we filtered on here. And what happens if you click that is you get this little bit of information in ed format or browser extensible data. The enzymes are not available on the table browser for you to query, but if you had a specific subset like this, all you would have to do here is make a simple custom track and then you could query them in the genome browser if you wanted to do that as well in the table browser. I just wanted to help people understand that the restriction enzyme data is available here. And there are ways you can alter that view to filter and to obtain more information about the details as well. So in the UCSC Genome Browser, that's how you find restriction enzyme information. Thanks very much for your time.